Should you use a dry or wet brine when barbecuing chicken? In this experiment, we're seeing which one tastes better, creates crispier skin, and if one is better than the other, getting flavor deep into the center of the meat. For the wet brine, we need to first prepare our brine solution. I'm keeping it simple with just 15 grams of salt to 300 milliliters of warm water. Normally, I'd add a few aromatics like lemon, pepper, some herbs, but to create the fairest possible test, we're just using salt and water. For the dry brine, we're just gonna sprinkle 15 grams of salt all over this thigh and then put it on a wire rack uncovered in the fridge overnight, along with our wet brine chicken. So with both thighs in the fridge, I thought we'd go one step further and do another set of thighs, but this time adding some copper sulfate to the wet and dry brines. Reason being that copper sulfate is blue and it retains its color under heat. So when we cook these chicken thighs and cut them open, we should be able to see if one of these brining methods is better than the other at getting flavor deep into the center of the meat. Copper sulfate molecules are also roughly the same size as water molecules, whereas if, for example, we were to use food coloring to do this test, it wouldn't be as fair an experiment because food coloring molecules are about 100 times larger than water molecules. So I've added an equal amount of copper sulfate to both the dry and the wet brine, and we'll find out how they look at the end of this experiment. So while we wait for the charcoal grill to come up to temperature, I've got our dry brine chicken here and the wet brine chicken. I'm just going to dry these off with a bit of paper towel, get some rub on them, ready to go. So we've got the dry brine copper sulfate chicken and the wet brine. I'm gonna pop these on the grill. We'll wait and see what happens. <coughs> okay, time for results. So our chicken's all done. We've got the wet brine chicken and the dry brine chicken. I'm gonna say the wet brine got a, maybe a five out of 10 on crispiness. It's not, there are bits that are crispy, but it's not too crispy. The dry brine, I would give a seven out of 10. Again, it could be crispier, but that's definitely got a good, good bit of crisp on it. All right, let's see which one tastes better. So first up, I'm gonna try a bit of the wet brine chicken. Really good. I mean, the texture of that is awesome. That's super moist. That feels like the taste is really even. I'm not getting, it's not like when using an injection marinade and you can kind of taste like pockets here and there and like some bites, you taste the flavor and others you don't. It feels really evenly spread. But let's see how the dry brine tastes. You can still see like, it's pretty juicy. Like it's quite a bit of juice coming off of that, but it's not quite as juicy, not quite as soft and tender as the, the wet brine. There's not a huge amount in it. They both taste really good. I think the wet brine one tasted really nice and kind of elevated, but not quite what I expected from barbecue chicken. This tastes like barbecue chicken and just next level. Like it feels like there is more flavor. It's not quite as evenly spread. I wouldn't be surprised if when we look at the copper sulfate test, we see the dry brine doesn't get as far in. It doesn't, it tastes, it tastes like the flavor has got below the surface, but not right in the middle. But let's have a look and see how our copper sulfate tested. So this was really interesting and not what I expected. In both cases, we can see the brine didn't penetrate right into the center of the meat. But what's interesting is if we look at the, the wet brine, what you can see is where there's skin, the brine didn't really penetrate underneath that. Whereas <laughs> as soon as we get to a bit where there's no skin, the brine does start to penetrate and we get a little bit deeper, probably only about four mil. Where there are pockets, it is getting a bit deeper. So given there wasn't that much difference in our taste test or the copper sulfate test, I'm gonna say the winner very marginally is dry brining because it is easier to do and it did get crispier skin. If you'd like to watch the next experiment in this series on barbecue chicken, click here. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get a weekly experiment like this one where I test something barbecue related to help you level up your barbecue knowledge.